Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a run through on exactly how to find the wheels that we need for our parts list and process them into the proper size and format. So I'm going to start out with a Chevrolet wheel. Now here, obviously the, the most important thing we need to check when we come down here, we're starting Chevrolet, you can see this is the very beginning of the category. The very first Chevrolet is an avalanche. There's already a picture there. <laughs> we, so clearly we don't have to deal with that. So check that first. I've already done the Chevrolet bolt. I've got that ready to process. So let's move down to the very next one. The Hollander number is here in this column, 5576. That's how all suppliers of wheels identify exactly which wheel we're talking about. Over here next to it, this is our part number. It's unique to our company. And we want a file that is named chcmv1.jpg when we get finished. The proper size and nice and small so it'll load quickly on a web page. The smartest thing to do at this point is click on this cell Come up here to the top, near the top of the screen, you can see the formula bar. Highlight that and copy it. You can do it from the menu, I just use Control C, and copy this name. That's what we're going to be naming our JPEG. Okay, now what we need to be conscious of is our Hollander number, 5576. We're going to go look for that wheel, and I'll bring our browser up here. Midwest Midwest Wheel and Tire usually has the best graphics and you can search right here for the Hollander number that we need which was 5576. Click on search. Now be cautious because two wheels come up here and they don't look anything alike. Well that's because this one has 5576 in it but it's actually 85576. This is the part we're looking for, plain old 5576. If you click on that, you move to a different screen, click on the image again, and you get a large version of this. Okay, that's the one we want. So right-click it, save image as. Right, now, here's why we saved our part number. We don't want this file name. That belongs to Midwest Wheel and Tire. So I just paste in that name that we copied, chcmv1.jpg. Now let's go ahead and save it. It's going to go to my temp directory, but you go ahead and set it up to go wherever you want it to. Okay, we move to Photoshop. And the next step in this process is to open Well, we've got a couple of them that we can open. Uh, well, I've already created a PSD for this one, so no, let's just open the one that I just created, chcmv1.jpg. Now, we want to put this on a white background. Up here on the left, you've got tools of all sorts. This one, if you right-click it, you can use the Magic Wand tool or the Quick Selection tool. If you've got good contrast like this picture has, you can just use the quick selection tool, hold the button down, the mouse button, and just drag this over the areas that you want to select. And just like that, we've selected everything except the wheel. That's perfect. Now, if you go up to select, click on that option, and we want to select the inverse. All right, so now it's flipped it around. Now the only thing that is selected is the wheel. And we're ignoring the tile, the tire, the pavement, all this stuff behind it. You can do this through the edit menu, doing copy and paste and all that. I prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts, so I copy that. Again, you can go up here and create a new graphic. I prefer just to hit Control N and it knows exactly what size to make it 
make sure it's a white background, tell it OK, and then paste. And there we have our wheel on a white background. There's only one more thing we need to do while we're in Photoshop. We need to resize the image. It's the wrong size. So go up to Image, Image Size, and what we discovered was all the other images on that parts list are 572 pixels wide. This one's 1,015, so just change it to 572. Boom, we got the right size. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save this as a PSD. Now, it's got the wrong file name. It says untitled. Now, remember, up here we have the correct file name. We already opened this JPEG. So it is CHCM. V1. It's important to save it as a PSD. You can change to all kinds of different formats here. We want it in Photoshop's native format, PSD, with the proper name. We've got it. And it's going to my temp directory. Perfect. So, all right, we're done with these for now. Uh, we don't need to keep them open. But we're going to move to another little program that is fantastic. It is called, oops, and it's not open. Oh, here it is. It's Irfan View. So please download and install Irfan View. It is more efficient than Photoshop at creating very, very compact JPEGs that will load super fast on a web page. I know you can do this through the menu options here but if you just go to your keyboard and press the B key B for batch it opens the batch conversion window now I'm not looking at the right uh, directory here so I need to go ahead and move over to my temp directory here we are and you can do the reason they call it a batch conversion is because you can do several files at once I happen to have two, but we could just as easily do 20. So I'm going to highlight these two files. Then you click on the button right here that says Add. You can see here both those PSDs have been added. We're going to do a batch conversion. The output format is JPEG, as it shows here. And the options, this is the slider that tells what quality to save this image at. In other words, how big the image is going to be. I like it to be 25 or even lower, but 25 gives a good small result. So we're going to tell it OK. Uh, as far as the output folder, I don't want it to go back into the same output folder this time. I'm going to choose Graphics Converted and tell it OK. So I'm getting these graphics from temp, but I'm going to put it into another directory called Graphics Converted when we're done. Um, right now, we've done everything we need to do. You can click on Start Batch. And bam, just like that, they're done. <laughs> when you see this errors zero, warning zero, and it created two files. Now we can prove that to ourselves by going here to Graphics Converted and boom there they are if you take a look oh wait a minute oh I didn't resize that one properly okay this one I did this one's resized correctly it's 572 by 569 and look at the size of the file it's 14.8 kilobytes now I goofed on this one I forgot to resize it that's no big deal uh, I can easily go back in take the original file, resize it when I create my PSD, send it back to Irfan View, and it'll convert it to a JPEG in a fraction of a second, actually. All right, I'm going to exit the batch, and that is basically the procedure that we need to do. You just need to do that over and over and over again until you finish whatever particular category of graphics that you're working on.